This is the one diagnosis where the quality of the initial surgery really dictates the prognosis long term. So knowing what you're dealing with ahead of time and making sure the patient gets adequate surgery is absolutely essential. Um, once you make a diagnosis, you want to do appropriate staging evaluation. So every patient should be getting a neck ultrasound to look for lymphadenopathy. And if there's a suspicious lymphadenopathy, that needs to be removed at the original operation. If their preoperative calcitonin level is markedly elevated, then they probably need a systemic workup looking for distant metastatic disease. I would typically use a cutoff of a calcitonin greater than 400 where we would start to look for metastatic disease. Um, otherwise, as far as operative planning for somebody with medullary thyroid cancer, what we would do is do a total thyroidectomy in every patient. And I think just about every patient with a clinically apparent medullary thyroid cancer needs a comprehensive bilateral central neck dissection. Um, I think with rare exceptions, a very small intrathyroid tumors, that's really the standard of care. We know that nodal disease is very common in medullary thyroid cancer, and to try to do that operation well at a second operation is just never as successful. So I think that every patient warrants a bilateral and a central neck dissection. And then I think the role of lateral neck dissection, I am very liberal with the use of that. I think if anybody has anything suspicious on ultrasound, that they should get an ipsilateral lateral neck dissection. And especially if they have bulky central neck lymph node disease, they should also get a lateral neck dissection. Uh, unlike other thyroid cancers where we have fallback treatments with radioactive iodine, or we don't have that with mental thyroid cancer. So really surgical management is our key treatment option and we have to be aggressive and we have to be comprehensive at the initial operation.